Hey friends, Robert here with Coastal GX and today we're going to be talking about the Uniwix Defender X100 12 volt 100 amp hour battery and how I'm going to be using it with Sandy over here. Okay friends, as you all know, I've been building, you know, Sandy up over here, remove the third row, you know, built this uh, platform. It's still under construction as you can see. And uh, you know, put the uh, fruit slider here. I'm gonna put some drawers on this other side over here. But an essential part of the build is gonna be the battery that's gonna power the fridge over here. So I was lucky enough to have uh, Uniwix reach, reach out to me and they sent me this awesome battery here. It's the one product that they have right now. So the company, let me see, let's unpackage this. So there's a battery right there and uh, the terminals right here. Okay, the bolts, which are going to come in handy and I'll show you why in a bit. But let's take a look at this. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box. Okay, so there it is outside of its packaging and uh, it comes with this little carrying handle right here. All right. And uh, this is what you can expect. It's going to have these two bolts right here and these uh, protective caps for the positive and the negative right on the top there uh, so you can secure the MPPT cable to it or however you're going to be setting it up this thing is super light um, and it's very small I mean for the power that it's delivering uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and measure out that back part over there and see how I can secure it and uh, then we'll put it to the test. Here we are almost two weeks later and it's all installed. Of course, you know, there's a bunch of sand here. You know, the vehicle's still under construction. This area, we still need to do a couple of other mods before we wrap it up. But as you can see, the battery is connected and, uh, you know, we have it tied up to our, our awesome Lenson uh, solar hood panel and MPPT as well. Uh, yes, I will be cleaning up this mess over here of cables, but the main purpose of it is to run my refrigerator. And guess what, man? It's been doing this flawlessly, flawlessly. Uh, take a look at what the temperature is right now and, you know, what the readings are. This is directly from the um, MPPT uh, app, okay, from Lenson. And it'll show you how we're running. Now, let's take a look at the refrigerator. And uh, let me see. I think the temperature the temperature is at a 35 right now. It's only operating as a fridge. And yes, there it is. Working just fine. Perfect. Perfect. So this is what we were looking for. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about the battery. So I'm not going to pretend I'm some sort of electrical engineer. I won't be opening up the battery and I'm not going to run testing equipment off of it. What I will do is talk about some of the battery specs and then wrap it all up with my final thoughts now that I've had it for several weeks. The battery is compact and very light at only 26 pounds. Compare that to an underperforming lead acid battery with an average weight of 64 pounds and there is no competition. The battery is perfect for those of us who don't know much about lithium ion batteries. The built-in battery management system will prevent it from being overcharged, undercharged or having a short circuit. It is also maintenance free, so I can focus on other things rather than the battery. Uniwix prices the Defender X100 at $499. It's priced right when you consider the lifespan is more than 2,000 cycles at 100% and 8,000 cycles, 50% depth of discharge. The average lifetime of a lead acid battery ranges from 300 to 500 cycles. I think it's a good value since it also comes with a 10 year warranty. There are many applications for this battery. It's great on your boat, RV, or any off grid use. I've been using it without issues non-stop for weeks. It pairs perfectly with my Lenson solar hood panel as well. 
Two things I need to share is that the battery cannot be placed on its side. Make sure it's secured and upright. Also, you will need to make sure you buy a lithium-ion compatible battery charger. The winter months are upon us, so there will be overcast days ahead, and charging the battery once in a while will be necessary. I want to thank Unowix for the opportunity to test and review their product. I will leave a link down below in the video description. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing and hit that like button. Get up, get out, do something.